Hey everybody, happy to see you guys. Uh, today I'm answering a question about um, women with children and relationship. And also I would like to share my insight why um, kind of what mistakes our Ukrainian and Russian women are often do in a relationship if they already have a child or children uh, from a previous marriage. You know, in our culture we were taught to not care about us. We need to care about our husband, our children, and we are lost <laughs> in on that list. Therefore, uh, very many uh, women uh, gave up on their personal life because um, they thought, they felt guilty to go for it. They felt guilty to pursue something for themselves, to have a partner. Um, and they would explain that, oh, I don't know if my potential, you know, new partner, new husband, is he going to be nice to my daughter or my son? Is he going to be um, kind to them? Or my daughter will suffer. It's selfish of me to have a man. And this is such a big mistake that our uh, ladies do and uh, any woman at in her 40s and 50s when her child or children are grow, you know grown facing a major crisis because she realized that all her life she dedicated to her children uh, she raised them she might even went for the not quite right career just to be close to them she invested her time her money her effort and she didn't go for a relationship because she felt uh, she doesn't have a right to, she needs to think about children and, uh, you know, not be this woman that, you know, uh, looking for men to support her, kind of, um, you know, that it's almost not right for her to think about um, uh, relationships. When, you know, and this is such a big, I've seen that a lot when I was growing up. And so then these women, are, they are very miserable because they never lived life for themselves. They didn't have very much experiences of their own. And then the children are grown and they have nothing left. They don't even know what to do. When things were hard, at least they were busy. You know, they were making money, they were making dinners, they were making homework with kids. You know, they, they were doing all those chores. They didn't have time to think about. And they were dreaming about time when they can be on their own enjoying. But when that time is coming, they have no idea what to do. They feel empty. They call in their kids. They get in on their case. They influence their marriages. Um, they, they, they are pushing their kids to have some grandkids. Basically, they don't have any life of their own. Not everybody, but I'm just telling you guys a trend that exists. And it's really sad because um, <laughs> that... Everybody is suffering, you know, when uh, when the parent is trying to uh, fulfill their life only through the child. <sighs> That's a pretty much bad news. Another thing, how the child supposed to learn relationship if you do not have any? If all your life you either were hiding your relationship or you decide not to go for any, how does your son or daughter will learn relationship with another gender i'm not saying you know be with somebody just for that what what i'm saying is that's a such a uh, weird approach you know to try to not disappoint your child and be there for them and committed to loneliness it's absolutely not necessary i agree that you have to be careful you know who you bring to your life you don't want your child to see you know numerous men or women um you know if you're a single dad or a single mom but don't put yourself in that limit and uh i'm telling you guys so if you will would meet a lady with children or uh, you are with the one uh, you can just talk with her and if you really care about her inspire her and encourage her to understand that 
as a woman she does have to have her own life because her children before she know it gonna be grown people they will have a life of their own friends of their own love of their own and she needs to have her own base you know her, her partner you know her own nest where she can just enjoy you know there are benefits when your children are growing up you know you can go you can travel you can enjoy your partner you don't have to worry about changing diapers or doing homework or running to school you can enjoy the hell out of your you know life so-called midlife you know you can enjoy so much because you still have a lot of energy if you take care of yourself you're looking good you appreciate your partner way more you have you're so much wiser and you can just enjoy it and then enjoy and seeing your child so sometimes our woman need a lecture on uh basically stating yeah you need happiness you need to be your your um you need to be a woman, not only a mom. You need to be a woman who is loved and uh, giving love to a man also very important. So it's an exchange. And um, in my life, when I was growing up, you know, back then, uh, I mean, back um, in uh, Ukraine, I've seen so many women that give up on so many opportunities because they didn't want to disappoint their children. And you know, I realized <laughs> the worst thing you can do is be miserable, uh, do fulfill your life only with what your children want, and then blame them for it. And that is a pattern that, that's happening a lot. I have to say, more modern, women you know uh younger women they have a different point of view they are more aware of things but still seeing example of their moms they might have those limits holding them back so bring it up you know uh show a picture of how you see the life with them show them no your life isn't over if you have a child or two children or three it's not over you know your life isn't started yet because you've been giving yourself to others and to be better for your children you know to have your own glass full and overflowing you would benefit from a wonderful loving partner there is no downside of having a wonderful loving partner and when a man when the man truly loves a woman he loves her child and so as when the woman truly loves a man she loves his children so if they don't that's not love and if somebody spoils the children you know sometimes in our culture the children getting spoiled so when they're about 12 they say mom if you will have somebody i will run away from the home that child needs work <laughs> that child might need to see a psychiatrist whatever but uh, for our women if anybody listening to me don't ever let your child dictate you your future or your present or your love life you know as long as he's respected he's treated well um you might have to have some conversations and your child will understand and be happy for you you just have to approach it from the right side so that's uh the main points i would like to make today more videos might come on this topic and um i will be happy to hear your feedback thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time